surprised to see me? Yeah, me too. Welcome to beautiful shitty Alabama. Um, as most of you have probably realized, I have been on somewhat of a hiatus here for a little while. Uh, for totally different reasons than in the past. Uh, business has slowed down, so I've been able to concentrate a little more on other things. But as stated in the first part of this video, uh, shitty Alabama has decided to stall on their uh, court hearing on the lawsuit that they have against them with uh, the large constrictor ban. Uh, what this means for you guys, uh, if you're watching here in Alabama, uh, I have received several texts uh, inquiring about anything that I've heard and uh, just to, trying to keep updated with the goings on of that situation. And I'm gonna go ahead and tell you exactly what I know. Um, I am currently one of the plaintiffs for the lawsuit uh, against the state of Alabama. And just from what I know, uh, the attorneys have been appointed by uh, USARC and we are waiting for a court date. Uh, that's as far as I know. Now, it might be farther along than that, uh, but being just a plaintiff, uh, all of the inner workings have uh, kind of eluded me a little bit. Now, here is one of the things that has been taking place here at the Lair. Uh, there has been a drastic change uh, that I have been going through and I will say that it's going to be for the better. Um, I'm going to shift my, uh, how do you call it? My concentration on a different project. So before I had all these projects and they were all kind of falling into place and aligning themselves and just, uh, it, it was a lot of work. But since then, for those of you that don't know, uh, I have unloaded my, uh, pretty much my whole or lot of retics. Uh, there is a breeder in Mississippi that managed to come up and help me get them out of state uh, and was very helpful. And I could not risk uh, the consequences had I been you know they gave us till October 15th and so things had to change a little bit but like I said all of my retics are in Mississippi right now with the exception of uh, the only snake I have left is this white lipped python which most of you may or may not know is a great species um, but it's going to free me up into concentrating on a more, not so much a diverse uh, workings with the retic. Once the uh, once the ban gets overturned, which I'm very confident it will, if they decide to give us our court date, um, they have no merit. They have no data backing up their decision, and it's basically they just got. They got lobbied by the animal rights activists and they just took it upon themselves to do what they thought was right in order to get a kickback from the animal rights activists. So none of us are happy about it. We all have uh, things that we have to do. And one of the things that I felt compelled to do was pretty much get a fresh start. So. What does that mean for mostly snakes? It just basically means we're gonna take a short break and pretty much try to concentrate on helping you guys if you have any questions that you need answered, uh, possibly get a little bit more videos out. But uh, as far as the breeding program, I've got some really super cool ideas uh, that's going to take a, a rather large investment, but it's going to pay off incredibly uh, when I get to that point. So instead of having several projects 
uh, all going at once, I'm going to concentrate on two, maybe two or three different little projects. Uh, I do have some things in the works, and I am just waiting for the uh, Department of Conservation to pretty much bow down and kiss my... I won't go there. Uh, basically come to their senses and realize that they did a wrong thing. And uh, once that that ban gets overturned, the Lacey's Act is gone again. Uh, then I'm going to get started on the new project. But as stated, uh, in the meantime, I'm going to have fun with my white-lipped python here, which uh, for those that don't know is not on the uh, Lacey's Act list and it's not restricted here in Alabama. So, <laughs> until then, uh, that is what I know. Again, if I do hear anything else, and once I know more as a plaintiff, uh, I will surely pass that information on to you guys. Until then, here's what I want you guys to do. Uh, in the comments below on this video, some of the most perplexing uh, questions that you might have had or any question really because what I would like for each and every one of you to do is stop posting questions on Facebook. Uh, I am currently off of Facebook. I haven't been on in several, several months. And of course, I, you know, being in the position that I'm in, I had to kind of lay low for a little while and uh, until I got everything straightened out. But I did notice at one point, somebody asked, what size enclosure should I use for my ball python? And of course, they were riddled with absolute nonsense answers, which is incredibly frustrating for me to watch. Uh, but I chose not to get involved. Um, if any of y'all see that happening on Facebook, copy link on my uh, video, what size enclosure should I use for my snake, and post that. And if anybody has a problem with that video itself, they can get in touch with me personally. But if you have a question that's been, you're getting several different answers about, and you just don't know which direction to go, post it down here. Maybe it'll make for a great video and uh, we can get it up for you. Now that I have a little bit more time and uh, not having to spend so much time with my white lip Python, um, I can get to these videos a little bit uh, sooner. And for those of you that have wrote to me and asked me questions here in the last two or three months, I apologize once again but like I said, different circumstances. Uh, I have not been very proactive on the channel here lately, and it has definitely been obvious because I've got several, several questions that I need to get to, and we'll eventually get to them. Um, but uh, just understand that all of us here in Alabama are going through kind of a very hectic time right now, and just gotta kind of lay low just a little bit longer so uh, that is your update from beautiful shitty Alabama and I hope that it comes to you in good health I hope everyone is staying COVID free and having fun with their scaly family members and uh, about to have a really good Thanksgiving dinner so um, again post any kind of video recommendations you might have in the comments below and we'll see about getting them up for you i appreciate you guys uh, hanging in there tough with me and uh, just know we're, we're we're coming back we're not going anywhere we're just uh cloak and dagger stealth mode right now <laughs> we'll be back thanks for watching <laughs>